Yeah, I think what we're trying to build this year, we're trying to uh, build a nationwide network to cover 120 million pops and, and on a scale that has never been done before and, and a run rate that has never been done before. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a challenging task, um, but we delivered on our first quarter um, commitments in terms of uh, pops covered as well as markets that we, we, uh, we said we will launch, we did launch them. So uh, we're on track, we're well on our way to, uh, to getting it done. Uh, it's not an easy task, it's challenging, but uh, we're gonna get there. Um, actually, um, what we do with backhaul is that we um, use 90% of our backhaulers with microwaves, and that gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of how we um, stitch the uh, backhaul network together. I think what you were referring to, Tracy, was uh, the in early days when uh, the Zome team as part of uh, Sprint ran into some uh, backhaul issues. Um, as a consolidated uh, 4G group right now, we have been using primarily microwave backhaul and that has not been a, uh, a, a bottleneck for us. In fact, um, we find that you know, had, had it not been for the fact that we use microwave backhaul, uh, we would not have been able to reach the, uh, the scale that we needed to reach uh, in terms of delivering the capacity that our customer needed. Um, we built our microwave backhaul in a, in a ring configuration so that every site would have at least uh, two or three paths back to the data center. And what that gives us is a, a, a seamless ability for, for, for fault isolation and redundancy. And, and uh, that gives us a very high level of availability. It also allows us to uh, surgically add capacity to the backhaul where it's needed. So it's truly uh, success-based uh, capital. We, we have capacity uh, augments that we need to do, but it's not something that uh, we have not uh, planned for. One of the uh, key assets that Clearwire has was the amount of spectrum that we have. And that really, spectrum is, is, is the raw material or the fuel that you need to, to build a 4G business around. And what we have done is that we have actually, in some of our sectors in our cell sites, added uh, additional carriers uh, j just so to meet the, uh, the demand from our customers. So as Sprint and our cable partners add more customers and as Clearwire Retail adds more customers, we are fully prepared with, with our very scalable backhaul network with ample spectrum. Uh, we believe that we, we uh, will not run into a capacity uh, brick wall anytime soon. Uh, our primary focus um, right now is in mobile computing. We, we believe that that is a sweet spot that nobody has done well in, in terms of delivering the type of experience that the customer wants and, and that's what we're, we're trying to, that's a need we're trying to meet today. So, so our primary focus has been on mobile computing. But uh, recently in our quarterly earnings call, we did uh, talk about releasing uh, two uh, handsets uh, that we believe will be the start of uh, our foray into, into smartphones. Um, we just wanted the, um, our shareholders to know about that. We have not released a lot of details yet. Uh, like I say, the focus is still on mobile computing, but we're starting to, to, to look into uh, the smartphones area to enable uh, more choices for, for our customers. For them, I, I think the, the typical Clearware customer uh, is, is someone that, uh, that does not have uh, a, a, a landline at home, uh, probably doesn't have cable, uh, so he, he, has, he or she has cut all the cords at home. Um, they rely on their mobile phone service a lot, and then they use Clearwire for uh, you know, high-speed internet and for internet access wherever they are. 40% uh, to 50% of our customers are actually uh, former DSL and, and cable customers, and, and those, that is the segment that, that we have done well in. Uh, we also see it, um, the young, urban, under 35 um, uh, apartment dwellers who doesn't like to be tied to a two-year contract to a building in terms of their internet access, um, they love Clearwire. They, they can bring it wherever they go, uh, whenever they move to. Um, that's the flexibility they want with their lifestyle, and I think we have done well there. Uh, we're starting to see some uh, traction now with small businesses as well and young families. Um, but the, you know, the urban young cord cutters, I think that's, that's, uh, that's, that's where we see a, a lot of good traction. We have some 
early adopters who, who is very curious about 4G and who, who thinks that 4G is going to meet their, their, their bandwidth needs. Uh, we have some first-time internet users as well uh, in, in the people that we have sold to. Um, the, the challenge for um, the, the small business is actually be able to get access to um, good prices and reliable service. Uh, a, a lot of the uh, Soho businesses, as you know, um, actually uh, have businesses from their homes, from the garages, mm -hmm. and, and that's where Clearwire actually would be um, the, almost the ideal choice for them because we provide strong residential coverage with our, with our ho home uh, modem service, and, and then we have our obviously our uh, USB uh, data cards that they can take with them when they, when they move around town. You know, I, I, I usually stay away from talking about lab speeds because, uh, you know, it's, it, it's a claim that, you know, some carriers like to make, but I mean, really it's, it's usually the opposite that you want to stay away from. Yeah, it's really meaningless to, to our customer. <laughs> our customer doesn't care what technology they use. They want, really want the high speed, you know, when they want it and where they need it. And what we tell our customers is, look, you should get between 3 to 6 megabit per second in our coverage area and with peaks exceeding 10 megabit per second. Uh, in fact, I was just downstairs in the, in the demo there, and you know, they are getting about 13, 15 megabit per second. We try not to set that expectations for our customers and say, hey, you're going to get 15 megabit per second because that's a peak speed. And, and, uh, and you know, what we tell our customers is, you know, wherever, wherever you are, and, and no matter how congested the network could become, um, we can add enough spectrum, we can add enough backhaul capacity for you to sustain a 3 to 6 megabit per second on the go. Yeah, there has been so many. I'm not sure whether yeah, in, they all make a trend, but what, what we we learn more interesting ones. <laughs> yes, we, we learn a few things. Is that you know, if you give your customer a more capable network, they would use they would use it. They would find creative ways of using them. Um, you know, I, I was uh, at a birthday party recently where um, the DJ was there, and uh, she actually was using a Clearwire service to just stream songs from the internet. So you don't see a big box of CDs or uh, <laughs> albums behind her. I mean, you know, it's a mobile DJ, and she's relying on a Clearwire service um, for, for her to, to pick whatever songs that, that the, uh, the, the host or the party goers want to, want, to, want to go to. So the mobile DJ, you know, is, is, uh, is, is something that, that, was, that you know, people are able to, to uh, capitalize uh, on, our, on, our, on our network. Um, you have um, telemedicine uh, being being uh, being looked at right now. Uh, I think Bill Morrow talked a little bit about that. Um, real estate, uh, real estate agents have used our, our service to, to get real time access to information about the properties and the real estates they are looking at on the on the spot where they are. They don't have to go back to the office to download some big files or some big pictures. Um, job sites, uh, construction sites, uh, you have drawings being created on site, downloaded to the site, real time corrections being made real time, and uploaded back to, to the uh, to head office and say, hey, look, this is what we're seeing here, are the errors, and you know, the whole, whole bunch of, of things that, that you could be doing uh, in, a, in, in, in a field, but you just don't have the bandwidth up until when you have actually a, a, a service like Clearwire.